Well, hello, my beautiful Gemini. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your bonus twin flame reading. I'm just cleansing your space here. I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Just a little note to say I have done a general love reading for August, but this is the twin flame reading. So if you feel like you're in a twin flame connection, this reading is for you, my beautiful Gemini. Let's get straight to it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? Got two cards here. Thank you so much. Ooh. Okay. They've asked me to go again. Ooh, that's it's quite explosive energy. Oh, I see. Okay, so um, just for those of you who are new to my channel, I take jumpers from the pack. I do not choose the cards that I believe that is my energy, not the message you're meant to receive. Everyone's different. There's no right or wrong way. So please fast forward during those moments as I don't like to waste time. Now we have retreat. That is the opening card. So you may be in that period of retreat that is happening, um, that happens naturally with a twin flame connection. Um, it's often very toxic and um, it goes in toxic cycles, the twin flame connection, until one or both um, twin flame counterparts raise their vibration. Okay, so sometimes people can have a successful twin flame connection. Other times they cannot make it work and therefore they back away from uh, the connection. They may try to cleanse the cord and cut the cord. They can never um, truly cut the twin flame cord. Uh, they can try and cleanse it, but actually you energize it um, by doing so, but you can ignore it and you do have free will, just so you're aware. Um, but we have here time to disconnect from the world. So you or your twin flame may have uh, disconnected, left this connection at this present moment in time because you're tired. Um, Hmm, interesting. What they're giving me here is as soon as you met this person, um, the energy, the twin flame energy was um, activated and you believed that you would marry this person. You felt you were on a trajectory to marry this person, which is, um, they're giving me the energy of this is totally unlike you. Okay, you like to see where um, connections go, you know, you're uh, freewheeling sort of thing, you know, you don't want to get too deep too quick but they're giving me the energy as soon as you saw this person as soon as you connected to this person you knew um, so you were activated immediately and um, you, you felt that this would lead to a lot of growth they're also giving me um, this is a quite unique energy here um, this may be they're, they're saying this is not for everyone but there is uh, one energy I'm tapping into this person you may have been engaged to be married you felt like you were about to get married and this your twin flame bolted okay is what they're giving me very painful energy very painful indeed you you saw the path ahead with this person and um they did not follow through wow they're even giving me that you may have even been organizing the wedding sort of thing that's a lot of drama right there okay so very painful very painful indeed okay um now, they're also giving me an indication that this person, okay, this is again a very specific energy. You thought this person would be a very good parent, okay, but uh, it doesn't look that way. Um, now, they do have the capabilities to be a good parent, but actually they've removed themselves from the connection. So we have the retreat phase. Um, we're in separation. That's the energy they're giving me here. Uh, now, we do have romantic feelings, and it says... Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So they're giving me an energy. Um, now I feel this turned up for the Scorpio and uh, reading for Twin Flame. So this may you there may be a Scorpio placement somewhere. Um, but you may have even questioned your sanity with this connection. You may have questioned whether you your intuition has been on point because it's almost like you're questioning yourself, saying, "Am I really meant to be with this person? This person is not stepping up." In fact, this connection is very toxic and is it worth it? That's the energy they're, they're giving me here. Now, 
both you and your twin flame they're giving me are being guided to learn certain lessons um, and that's why uh, you come back together but then it does not work excuse me i'm getting hot so that means i'm getting close to someone's message so i just need to remove that um yeah what they're giving me here is um you're being divinely guided back and forth together you know it's this shift back and forth here because there's unfinished lessons here not only unfinished business but you know twin flame energy is something that is over lifetimes and uh, you keep coming back seeking out each other because there is a soul contract where you both have to fulfill to learn lessons for ascension okay so um, the lessons are not being learnt at this present moment in time no matter how hard you try um, you may be doing all the work yourself Gemini but your person is in some way well they've got they're giving me an energy here this person is here um, because the allure of you Gemini is too strong and they just want to it's like they just it's a very passionate energy they come in for the passion they're magnetized by you but they don't seem to change is the energy now i'm going to go deeper and find out who we're dealing with what we're dealing with here um this person is quite romantic when they want to be but they're giving me smooth talker um now i don't feel like this person intentionally does the smooth talking they're naturally uh gift of the gab kind of person but what they are giving me is that this person knows how to talk their way out of trouble okay um interesting uh they are giving me something about a christmas plant i don't know I don't, it's not a christmas tree it's not it's a they're calling it a christmas plant it has red leaves something about that i don't know what that is or even if something like that exists a Christmas plant uh, it doesn't sound right to me but that's what they're giving me um, there's something about a Christmas plant which is red leaves and maybe your person give that to you or uh, I mean you wouldn't buy it right now it, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this after my, myself a Christmas plant if you can take that if it resonates for you then there's something in this message for you okay um, we do have worth waiting for now a lot of you are going to be screaming hell to the no no I'm not waiting for that because twin flame energy is very very dark it can go be very painful um, it doesn't resolve easily but it's so magnetic it's so alluring it's like a moth to a flame kind of energy you know it's bad for you but a little bit of what is bad for you sometimes is good for you um, but then it doesn't work out and then we realize yeah it was bad for us and we knew it but we still gravitated towards this energy that is a toxic uh, pull of a, a twin flame connection until the ascension now it does here have here divine timing is at work in your love life so spirit may be blocking this ascension for your lessons because they're giving me that uh, you and your person still have unfinished lessons to learn now you may have extended yourself overextended they've just corrected me overextended yourself in this connection where you wanted to offer everything to this person um, and they did not reciprocate they did not put in the work they did not follow through on the connection um, so you you may feel like you're done here and that's why there is the retreat period not only have they removed themselves from the energy but you've retreated as well which when you retreat on a twin flame connection you actually activate your twin uh, they they recognize you step back so they start realizing that they may lose you and they start the chase okay so just so you're aware now they've asked me to have a look at this card a little bit deeper so i will one moment please oh okay so they're giving me an energy here um your person left you out in the cold um and it also feels like it also feels like your guides Gemini as well as your twin flames guides are fed up they're just they're done as much as you're done this is uh, wow I've never got that message before they're kind of like just fed up your person's quite uh, hmm. they're lost in a low vibe ego 
is what they're giving me. I was going to stay stubborn and they went da 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 da. So they obviously did not want me to say that word in connection because I feel it goes deeper than that. It's more than about being stubborn with your twin flame. This person has ego uh, and they're lost in this ego. But they are giving me at the core of this person because everybody at the core, they have the ability to be a good person. I believe that myself. Uh, personally, that's not what I'm getting from spirit right now. I'm just um, giving you my beliefs there. Um, I just want to make sure you're aware when I'm talking and who I'm talking from um, but they are giving me uh, the energy that um, the time will be right when you have an opportunity to choose whether you come back into union with your twin flame or when um, or if you wanted to disconnect from the, the, the union um, we do have wedding on the board and it says this situation involves marriage now, the first uh, energy they gave me, please do not shoot the messenger, Gemini. They gave me um, that this person has been married before uh, to, to somebody else. Now, uh, that's the energy I'm picking up on. Um, whether this union, this um, wedding, uh, or this marriage is still in play, I have to go deeper to find out. But they just gave me... Uh, their, there is somebody else involved or there was somebody else involved in the past. That's the energy I'm picking up here, Twin Flame. Very painful. All this person does is think about you. So what the hell? I don't understand. This person, it's like their ego prevents them from coming towards you. But all they do is think about you. Right. Right. Okay, I don't understand. I'm getting a very strange energy here where we're going to go deeper and find out, but they're giving me an energy that uh, your Twin Flames family forced them to marry somebody else. Okay? I mean, I know things like that happen, but they're giving me that um, this person, this Twin fl your Twin Flames family... Um, are interfere, yeah, in, interfering and pushing them towards somebody else. Okay, now I just want to check in and see if that's a secondary energy or if that is the same energy as the person who's married. No, they're saying secondary energy. Okay, so um, I just want to make this clear before we move on. One moment, please. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, so they're giving me that um, for some of you Geminis, your twin flame was married before and I need to check in and find out if I if, if that person is still married the secondary energy is some of you other Gemini's um, their family are getting involved in some way and pressurizing them to make another choice uh, I feel it's financially it's a financial choice to marry somebody else a financial yeah uh, pressure for them to go in a different direction now we're going to go deeper and find out what's going on there but what that that's really complex twin flame energy i'm picking up on uh, i don't like to do these readings often because the energy is uh, very uh, difficult so we have death card the magician in that position and we have the fool okay interesting energy here um so we have the death card this is in the protagonist energy this is rebirthing, okay, uh, moving on from stagnant energy and having some sort of change there. There has to be big changes in this connection for it to work. There's a lot of pain here, a lot of pain. And I don't even know if you want it to work, Gemini. I'm getting this energy of, I'm kind of done unless the person has sorted their shit out. And I, I mean, that's understandable, but it's, it's caused you nothing but pain. Okay, um, when you try and think about holding on to this bond um, and, and trying to release yourself, it's pain. It's just continual pain and stagnant growth. It's almost like when you hear from your twin flame, it's almost like, no, I, no, I, I don't want to hear from you. Why are you back? Why are you doing this? I want to move on. Why are you trying to hold me back? But this person, they cannot let you go. No, no. Um, I'm also getting picking up on um, an energy from Twin Flames 
um, they want to come back because we got the we got the fool here and it's over the wedding card. So they want to come back in and they want to ascend to make your connection work. They want um, some sort of uh, union, traditional kind of union with you. Um, but something has to give, something has to change here. The death card is, um, you know, there has to be a breakthrough for peace. And you're moving forward. It's almost like I'm getting a cold energy right now. The, the candle just moved as well. Um, so they're... They're guiding me here. Interesting. Yeah, there must be something about Scorpio. Um, I'm not sure if this happened in Scorpio reading. They've they've highlighted this card as well. They want this. There's a card from a deck over here. They really want this. I'm going to put this to the side because they, they keep drawing my attention to it. And then they say, pick that, pick that. So I'm going to leave that there. We'll come back to that. Um, but what they're giving me here is... Um, it feels like you want to move on without them. You want a new start because it's just it's just too much. It's holding you back, okay? And just when you want to let go and you want to move on from the situation to bring peace and to transform your life, you know, that's that scorpionic energy. This is Scorpio again. Um, you want to rise from the ashes. It's too much pain. So you want to ascend yourself and look after yourself and get rid of any toxic cycles and just release. They've given me the word release. Okay, so it really feels like, and it's over the retreat card as well, um, it feels like, Gemini, you want to let go of this. Okay, and it's interesting that we have the magician in the antagonist um, position. Now, this is the energy that you do have to overcome, but uh, again, the candle's going crazy. Um, there's a, sort of a breeze coming on in here, and I don't have any windows going on out, open here. Um what they're giving me with this card in this particular position is almost you're it's like you're on eggshells in your mind you don't even want to think about this person because you recognize what you think about you bring about and the magician um you know it's about turning visions into reality it's about using inspired action in the mind to manifest what you truly desire on the physical plane and you've got it in this position because it's almost like you don't want to manifest again you don't want to manifest. It's getting quite breezy here. Someone moved over here as well. I hope they got that caught, caught on the camera. Um, otherwise, I can't prove it. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, a, it's almost like you're afraid to manifest this person because they're just nothing but trouble. Even though deep down in your heart, you really love this person. But it just brings so much pain here. And... Um, You want to, you want wisdom, okay? I feel like you're you're trying to, you're just, what I'm getting is there an, a, a push and pull energy. You want to manifest a new beginning because we've got the full card energy here, which is taking a, a leap of faith, walking away and, and hoping for something new, okay? Um, rebirthing this situation for a new beginning, but also... You're putting this energy off because you don't really want to walk away, but you don't see how it can it can work. Now, they're indicating that when this person ascends, you know uh, your feelings are worth exploring, and they do have um, a, a wedding. They do have a higher level commitment on their mind for you, um, and you are in the retreat stage at the moment, which is a natural process for twin flame energy. But I. You're in the mindset of it, maybe it's too late. You know, you're done and done. That's the energy I'm getting. But you're also nervous to be done. I hope that makes sense. Uh, twin flame energy is very complicated. So it's almost like, um, I don't ever want that person to contact me again. And then two days later, it's like, I wonder if they're thinking of me. Then four days later, do they know how much they hurt me? I never want to see them again. And it's kind of this push and pull energy that I'm getting here. But you recognize they're your counterpart. And it's almost like you're wondering what lessons need to be learned. And um, your person is showing up as quite... Um, 
they sabotage, but also they're quite manipulative. They, they have very scattered energy. Um, they, they have unfulfilled potential. They haven't tapped into their potential yet. Very immature energy. Um, but they like to manipulate things and make it go their way. And Gemini, I know your energy. Nobody tells a Gemini what to do. You're very free. You're very unique and um, you know original. You, 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 got your, you, you do things on your own terms, okay? Um, and you have wonderful ideas. You're so creative and exciting. And this person feels quite domineering, okay? Now, the unifying energy is the Fool card. So again, it can go either way. We're going to have to go deeper because this person is very scattered that you're dealing with or, or that I'm picking up on. Now, this can be a fresh hope for a new adventure without this person because you have the opportunity to meet somebody new by moving away from your twin flame. That is absolute. But there is also an opportunity for you to take a leap of faith in the future with your twin flame and go on a new beginning with them. This person piques your curiosity. It's almost like, why is it not working with this person? How can I not make it work with this person? What is it? Why can I have the answers? It's like tearing your hair out. Very scattered. They're actually giving me, <laughs> um, they're highlighting these two geese. And I'm just hearing geese screaming, uh, you know, making that very loud sound. But what they're showing me is, this is quite precise. It's like a dog that is um, trying to get these geese in a pen. And it's like, it's so difficult. How can I get them in, this, in the same place, on the same page? They're giving me the energy of your guides, which is like, you're, they're trying to rein you in. And somehow both of you are like, nah, 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 one's in, one, one's in the pen. Oh no, the, we've lost the other one. The other one's gone the other way. And it's, they're trying to guide you somehow together, but it's just not working is the energy that I'm getting here. So we're going to go deeper and find out because this is quite tense energy that I'm picking up on. Oh, they wanted this card now. Unconditional love again. That's, that's weird. Okay, so um, they wanted me to give this card, I'm sure it was to Scorpio, and it was Mag Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. And it says here, love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. Now, I've used that deck since, and I've shuffled, and there's no way that that card would be on the top again, but it is. So um, there's obviously a message here. Uh, don't take my word for it, uh, because you know I didn't shuffle it on the, on the screen. They just wanted this card. Um, but we will go uh, and read what that means uh, later on. But basically, it means no matter what, love the situation, because you w raise your vibrations. Now, we're going to go deeper, as I said. I'm using the Light Seer's Tarot to get the, uh, the fine details of the person I'm uh, tapping into. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? Regarding their twin flame energy, can you please guide me to what they need to know for their highest good? Death clarified by death. Whoa, this is some powerful energy, scorpionic energy. Okay, so we need to rebirth this because there has to be healing. They're really highlighting this big star in the middle of that figure of death. Okay, healing has to happen, but also there has to be a big change here big change there is a lot of scattered energy they it's all they will not let me say the word stubborn because every time i go to say it they go ah, ah, ah. so whoever that is thank you so much i'm truly grateful but it's they don't want to say stubborn it's um there is some sort of ego to be transcended here okay they keep giving me ego so maybe this person um it's all about status. They just said it's all about status. So this person may come from a family um, who are putting pressure on them to rise up in their business and maybe uh, pressurizing them to um, connect on a love. Oh, wow, that's horrible. Um, what they gave me is this person, your twin flame, it has been suggested to them that they have some sort of romantic connection with somebody who can further their career. 
that's not very nice energy. But we have death clarified by death there. So very, very powerful uh, indication that there's big changes ahead and new beginnings. Now, whether you rebirth that energy and move on or rebirth the connection uh, and take that leap of faith, we're just going to see now what's happening. King of Wands energy. Okay. King of Wands, Aries energy. This is so, someone who's in low vibe. Okay. This, this person's quite a bully. Okay. They like to bulldoze through things and they are not ready yet. This person is definitely a master manipulator kind of energy. Very scattered. But it's always their way or the highway. Okay, and they, it seems like they're still in that energy. We're going to find out. Um, oh, yeah, this person's temperamental. That energy was horrible. Okay, normally I can't take that many, and my wrist did not kick out this time. So uh, for those of you new to my channel, um, my wrist got hurt, and it kicks out sometimes. That's too many. I can't take those. They said no. I don't know what energy I'm picking up on here. It's not very nice. Four of Wands. Yeah, again, we're getting an indication of a wedding that did not complete. Okay, so this is uh, Four of Wands. It's my wedding card, but it's in the reverse. It did not come to full completion. Okay, so there was some sort of moving out um, or some sort of uh, separation, uh, leaving a home or a broken home. Um, Someone left uh, perhaps a wedding situation also uh, is what I'm, I'm picking up on here. Um, yeah, this person, ego, they just walked away. This is the energy I'm just getting. They walked away um, because they just felt they weren't ready. But they, they, they gave you, it's almost like they gave promises in the sky and then they just changed their mind. I don't know who this person is, this twin flame energy, but boy... Do they suck? Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Garden Angels. I'm truly grateful. Chariot. Okay, so we're it, Chariot is in reverse here. Um, now they're highlighting um, when you get this card in the reverse. It, it's about giving up. Okay, losing direction, losing hope. There, not being able to move forward. Uh, there's there's some sort of trouble in moving forward. So it, it feels stuck. There's no movement here. So again, we're highlighted. Your twin flame, it's just, it seems to be, the guides are just, even even your guides are like, Wh whatever, we can't even do this. It's like giving up uh, on this, um, trying to make this work. And that doesn't mean your guides are going to give up. They just want to clarify. Um, but there is this feeling of, you've, you're done and you're done, Gemini. Um, but there's this tiny weeny residue. And again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm only... Get, Feel this energy. If you look at the other uh, readings that I've, I've been doing, uh, there's nothing so aggressive. This energy is super, super aggressive, okay? Um, Queen of Cups. Interesting, so aggressive, but again, Scorpio, uh, sorry, no, this is Cancerian energy. Um, very nurturing, healing, supportive energy. This is how they see you. This is why they feel like they can manipulate you, Gemini. That's a horrible thing to say, but that's what they've given me just now. Um, now, although this is water element uh, with this card, it's about the energy. I pick up on energies. And um, masculine or feminine energy, it's not a gender-specific reading. It's just about the energy and the frequencies. And this person, they know that you are very balanced, um, but also that you're very nurturing. You're a very caring person. You're very emphatic. You're, you're very high vibe. Okay, you are the light. And you're such a good person. This person feels like they can manipulate the situation because you've, you're, you've got a good heart. This person is not very nice at all, okay? Um, that's how they see you. But they feel like if they were to choose a person, which they, they don't really... When it comes to Twin Flame, you don't really have a choice. Uh, uh, it's someone you find each lifetime to learn lessons um, and hopefully... Um, come together in, un in union, um, but they recognize you as being so peaceful and someone that they want to connect to. How would you like to receive? 
Thank you very much. Okay. Um, they want to connect. Uh, they see you as someone very balanced that they want to um, settle down with, but they're just not ready. That's what, not, they're not coming forward because they're not ready is what they're giving me here. Now we do have Ace of Pentacles. I need to pull a card on this um, because actually um, this is a new, uh, when we get those Ace, Ace of Pentacles, this is about a new start with somebody who wants to um, offer you something that is a, a true investment in a connection, okay? They wanna give you a solid offer with healthy roots. But also uh, this could be that someone has dug very deep in the dark recesses of their soul to um, want to come towards you uh, with a solid offer. So I want to clarify whether we're dealing with your twin flame here or whether we are dealing with somebody new. I'm just going to go to um, the white, uh, the, the Rider Waite Tarot to, to clarify. One moment, please. Please clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Is this someone new or is this uh, twin flame energy? Can you please guide me? Um, please clarify the Ace of Pentacles for my beautiful Gemini. Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> so yeah, so this person is a very reliable person who's coming on in here. Um, Earth energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, whenever a, a knight uh, comes on in uh, with an offer, um, the only one I really trust is the Knight of Pentacles. It's slow to come on in, um, but they want to offer something solid there. Um, I'm just going to uh, pull one more. They just said one more. Thank you so much. Can you please clarify the Ace of Pentacles and now the Knight of Pentacles? Can you please clarify this energy? Is it someone new? Can you please clarify? What do my beautiful Gemini need to know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, what they've highlighted here for me is that uh, if you're not, uh, if you're done waiting and you want to move forward, there is someone new coming for you who brings a solid offer, okay? So uh, this is what's on the board for you. But this is, again, they're highlighting, uh, when you've got the two of wands in the upright position, this is about waiting for the right moment, waiting for a result. But you're done waiting for results because they don't seem to come through. Um, but that is your choice, okay? So if you're done waiting for results and the things it's always the same with your twin flame. There is a solid offer coming in from someone who is very reliable, who's very patient, hardworking, has got their money together, um, very solid and grounded person. Someone who is not this scattered kind of crazy energy um, of twin flame. So just so you're aware of what uh, is coming for you, should you wish uh, to move on from the connection. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Cross Watchers, um, please don't shoot me either. Um, time is fluid and our destinies are changeable. We all have free will. So your person, your Gemini, may decide to uh, try and make your connection work. But if the connection does not work, they do have an offer of somebody else coming on in because everyone deserves love, okay? Six of Wands in the upright. Now, they are giving me here, um, there is some news coming on in from your twin flame, okay? Now, this is, um, this person, they like to be in the spotlight, okay? Again, they're giving me this ego thing. Now, I want to find out what this ego thing is about because... Oh, they said I already know. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's it, This person tries to, very hard to, um, your twin flame tries very hard to impress their family. There may be someone in their family who is quite successful and they look up to that person and they always want to do right by that person. They want to impress them. So they... They like being in the spotlight because it feeds that side of their ego. And it's because they feel like they're not validated without this person's thumbs up. Weird thing to give me, thumbs up. Um, so maybe their person's, uh, your person's uh, family member uh, gives them a thumbs up whenever they do well. Um, because it feels like there's a lot of pressure on this person to do well, okay? Um, 
Yeah, uh, there's a lot of pressure on them to, to be victorious in whatever career um, that they have chosen, whatever career path, whatever they're trying to achieve, they're really working hard at it because they've got a lot of pressure from those around them. And it comes from their childhood wounding, which is they felt like they weren't valid unless they took an interest in a certain family member's job. Their, their family member, well, they're giving me, they're giving me father energy, masculine energy. Um, the, the only way they could connect to their masculine uh, par uh, parent energy guardian um, is uh, by talking shop because uh, they're giving me um, this person's um, family did not really, they're not very good with emotions. It was all about business which is quite a lonely place and that's why um, your person grew up um, wanting to uh, have love and be in the spotlight. Interesting energy there. Ooh, how do you want? Okay. Um, yeah. So this person, is, we've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Now this person, um, they feel like they're not finished here, they, but they're, they, they want to come towards you, but they're stuck in a rut. Okay, and they feel out of control. This person is completely scattered. Um, they feel like they're in a rock and a hard place. They're trying to, they're trying to please these family members or whoever's putting this pressure on them for their career. They're trying to please this person, but they'd like to please themselves and be with you because you're more balanced. You bring a lot of peace, but they just cannot, they cannot work it. They're in a rock and a hard place. That's the sentence they're giving me. Rock and a hard place. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? This energy is crazy. Ooh, okay. Now, again, we have Ace of Cups. Okay, so we've got Ace of Pentacles that is clarified. There is a new option of love on the board if you do not want to uh, connect your twin flame. But we also have a new offer of love here. Um, when we get that, the aces, this is about um, a proposal from somebody who loves you, okay? So what they're indicating, I'm just going to move this over here because this is quite interesting energy. Um, they're indicating that your twin flame wants to come back and someone else is also in the frame as well. Now, we did have something similar to that with uh, the Leo uh, reading. I'm just going to clarify this Ace of Cups because I want to see if it's your twin flame. <laughs> but you have a lot of love coming your way, Gemini. Uh, everybody wants to come in and give you a solid offer. Yeah, so. So this Ace of Cups is about your person. Okay, we've got Seven of Wands. It's in the reverse. This is your twin flame uh, coming back. Um, it's like... They know that they have competition against them and they've got, they've got so much competition in their life that they just, they just can't take any more. They, 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 they're going to offer you a solid uh, cup of love, almost like for, uh, it's almost like they come in really strong with marriage. Okay, because it's over the wedding card and they keep giving me marriage, marriage, marriage. So um, this person wants to go to the next stage with you. Um, and it's going to be very quick. But it looks like once they see the rivalry, once they see the competition, they want to get back in there and snatch you up because they don't want any, they, they don't want to lose you. Okay, so that seven of wands there. Um, They've been stalking you. They, you know, they know what's going on in your life. Um, but they recognize they had weak boundaries before. And um, they, they recognize the manipulation that happened there is what they're giving me. Okay, uh, we're finished with this deck. Uh, that's what they, they're giving me here. And we're going to move on to um, the Fountain Tarot to gauge the uh, overall outcome of this situation. Interesting. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know with regards to this connection? Can you please guide me towards an outcome? Thank you so much. Okay, so we have King of Swords. It's in the reverse. Okay, King of Swords in reverse. This person, 
they're a smooth talker. They have not changed is the energy that they're giving me. They have not ascended um, just yet, okay? Um, I have to tell you how it is. I cannot BS you, my beautiful Gemini. I wouldn't want to anyway. Um, this person, they come on in with a cup of love towards you because somebody else is about to snatch you up. Okay, someone else is coming on in with a solid offer of love for you and they don't want to lose you. But it's still, they're still acting in low vibe. They're quite uh, verbally abusive. They may try to put you down because it's popped out with the strength card. Now this is Leo energy, okay? Um, this is about an ego thing. So this person wants to chip away at your ego so that you feel like you're not enough because that's how this person feels. They feel like they're not enough unless they're being praised by someone in their family, for sure. Um, but by other people too, but there's someone in their family that they care deeply about um, and they want their attention. But they may, uh, they feel like they're worthless if they're not getting attention from this family member, that they're not doing well being victorious. So. Gemini, when this twin flame comes back in contact with you, which it looks like they do want to, um, this is the only sword on the board, the king of swords. So someone who wants to be at the top of their game, but they're misusing their power there and they're verbally abusive. And it's come in with this strength card. They want to, it's almost like they want to dent your ego. So you feel like you cannot move on to somebody else. So spirit is reminding you to remember self-love courage to move on in whichever direction you want in self-respect, unconditional self-love and respect. Now, I'm not saying that this person, your twin flame, is not going to ascend later on in life. Um, at this moment in time, they're giving me that they're in the same, they're in the same low vibe, okay, because they want to come back in, uh, offer you a cup of love, but it's to block this other person is what they're giving me, okay? Um, so they're highlighting. Okay, thank you so much. What they also just said was, uh, it takes a long time to tame the lion. So this person is, is quite aggressive. As I said, that energy, very strong energy. Um, so, I mean, nobody should wait around for somebody, you know, nobody should wait around for their twin to, to ascend. Everybody should get on with their life. And if the twin ascends and you're on the same page, then that's a beautiful union that comes together, but nobody should wait. So as they suggested, it's gonna take a long time for this particular energy, this particular twin flame to really recognize what they're about to lose. And uh, it, it's giving me the energy that, I don't know if you wanna wait around and find out because we have a new start on the board here. Um, we're just gonna go again, one moment please. Thank you so much for guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? Ten of coins. So yeah, new start here. Um, as you can see, the solid offer from the person who's coming on in for you, this Knight of Pentacles, they're bringing a solid offer that will lead to a lot of growth. This person uh, wants uh, to leave a legacy with you. They want a connection that grows into, you know, um, retirement age, okay? They also want a higher level commitment with you and they will want a, a traditional idea of marriage or a higher level commitment. They want some sort of union that is, well, they just said that it is healthy, but leads somewhere, has solid foundations. Okay, so you do have that offer right there. Um, someone else coming on in to offer you that. Uh, very earth, a very earthy person. So uh, earth sign there, very dependable and grounded energy. Thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. Can you please guide my beautiful... Okay, thank you so much. Sorry, they also said here, um, your person is really tied up mentally to some sort of family business or business to make their family proud of them. And they're still in that vibe, okay? This is uh, the clarification. So um, thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. Can you please... Yeah, it feels like your twin flame is currently running off after money, but more than that, they're running after accolades, ego rub. Two of swords, okay. So we have two of swords, it's in reverse. And when we get that two of swords in reverse, there is a confusion, an indecision here, okay? They're, they're highlighting that you are confused. You, you feel like there has to be some sort of compromise. 
Um, do you walk away from someone that you felt was the love of your life? The, the, you know, the twin flame, the deep connection that everybody hopes to ascend and be with? Or do you stay and hope that this person ascends in a, a, the right amount of time for you to be together and have a new adventure, a new start together? So there is confusion here. Um, so I understand why that magician card is in the antagonist position because you want to manifest the connection. You don't want to manifest the connection. You want to manifest a new start, but you don't really want to manifest a new start. So there is that happening. That's the energy I'm getting. Um, also, we have the Eight of Coins, the Eight of Pentacles. And this is about both of you, you and your twin flame. You're still in the frequency of investing in yourself, learning lessons. This is mastering yourself, okay? Um, doing things like law of attraction for yourself. Um, having other things in your life slot into place. There is always that one piece that is missing and you both know it is each other. When you just can't make it work, it's too painful. Okay, uh, that, that's in the, uh, the antagonist position. So um, the final piece is still missing in this connection. It has not ascended to the level of coming together. Okay, both of you are still working on yourselves. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know regarding twin flame connection? Thank you so much. Uh, they just said leave it there. So we're, we're going to end it there. Very, very strong energy. Uh, we have Ace of Wands. And we have the Death card again. Gemini, this is crazy. So they're highlighting um, a new passion that comes on in. Okay, When we get the Wands, it's about new. So there's a new urge to create a passionate future with somebody else. That's the energy I'm picking up here, Gemini, um, because they came out together. And the indication here is very, very strong Scorpionic energy right from the get-go. Um, so your person may have a placement there, or maybe you do. Um, but what they're giving me here is unless this, this connection changes... Unless this connection rebirths and transforms into something more healthy, you have a new urge to, cre to, to create something passionate with somebody else. Okay? Um, that, that's the indication I'm getting here. This person is, so far, this person is denying their ascension, your twin flame. It will happen in the future, and it is worth waiting for. This person, deep down, this person... All they do is think about you. This person wants to come towards you, but they're not ready. They're uh, immature. They have uh, stuff going on in their own life that prevents them. And th there has to be an ego death as well, is what they just gave me, okay? So this person... I hate it when they do this because I know the twin flame journey is very difficult, um, but they're just highlighting here that um, we've got death death and death there has to be a big change something has to end here and if it isn't the bad behavior and restarting into a new healthier cycle with this person then the ending has to stop there and be the change that starts something new with somebody else that is more giving to a connection has more solid healthy intentions Okay, my beautiful Gemini, I have to leave it there because they, 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 they've disconnected from uh, this uh, reading, th these cards. So um, I'm going to give you what Mary Magdalene means. That's crazy, right? They got turned up there. Uh, I'm just going to read what it means from the Goddess Guidance book. It's an oracle card from Doreen Virtue. And we have Mary Magdalene, and it is. Hmm, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been answered, and they have been heard and are being answered. Faith is the light that illuminates your pathway. Without faith, the future looks very frightening. That's why it's essential for you to take whatever steps that are necessary to keep your mind and heart filled with faith. Please don't give up hope on yourself or other people. Keep the candle of faith burning within your soul, as that one small inkling of hope can eradicate the darkness or despair. Be the light that eliminates someone else's gloomy hopelessness as well. For as you make others stronger, it strengthens not only yourself, but the entire world. 
let go of worrisome thoughts. Notice that any divine guidance you may receive. Pray, engage in spiritual healing. Okay, so we are uh, got that. A uh, very interesting uh, uh, connection there. I'm just going to give you a final card, which is uh, the wisdom of the oracle. Final advice from Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? Thank you. How do you want to receive? Thank you. Round and round, but it's in the reverse. Okay, um, so I guess we all know what that means round and round um it's number 25 just want to highlight that in the upright it's number 25 which reduces uh, reduces to seven which is about change chariot action okay it's the chariot card cancerian energy but it's in the reverse so we have that chariot number seven in reverse okay so again there is no movement here okay um there is a, a feeling of giving up because there is no direction ahead. You, you feel like you cannot take charge of direction here due to trouble. Okay. And it feels like just going round and round. I mean, I love this deck. It's so on point sometimes. I'm just going to read the protection message because you got it in the reverse. Uh, I don't like to tell you something that isn't right. Uh, 25. Okay. So we have, are you refusing to see your own personal responsibilities for repeating lessons that you don't need to relearn? You have to surrender now to the fact that you are the common denominator in all of these repeat performances. Be happy, for this is a wonderful spot to be in. You can now see the cycles that you wish to exit. Once you figure out that you have the power to stop going round and round in circles, you possess the key to your freedom. Be good to yourself. It's not about blame or about accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that Spirit so wants for you. Okay, so, so about releasing those toxic cycles for a new start, a new healthy start. We're just going to get a trinket before we go. Thank you so much, Spirit Guide, Point Angel. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know in this connection? Ooh, that's a long time that I've only got one trinket. So we have the Pegasus. Very exciting energy. This is about free spiritness. Okay, being a free spirit. As I said, this person, your twin flame, quite controlling, domineering energy. So you're freeing yourself. Uh, you're very unique, Gemini. Nobody can hold you back. You're also reaching for your dreams and you are ascending yourself. Okay, quite a magical um, figure. Um, this also, they're giving me also that this is someone's signifier, Pegasus. Uh, you may even uh, have talked about Pegasus the star uh, constellation. Never get that with this trinket, but that's what they're giving me here. Um, they're also giving me your person's very into cars. Again, it's about the ego, what they look like, what they have. It's a status thing, I see. It's a status thing. Okay, that's what they've given me with this, this trinket here. Okay, they're giving me, uh, they're giving me an image of, uh, um, where, f first of all, where would you like this? They want it on the full card. Taking the leap of faith for a new start. Okay, take chances. Trust your intuition, but... Um, there has to be a leap of faith that has to happen here with that full card. Be curious. They just said be curious about other possibilities. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just giving you what they're giving me. Um, they're also giving me an image of, um, they normally give me food, and they're actually giving me uh, food. They're saying, well, it looks like a, a bun, some sort of, um, it's got raisins or something in it. And it's got a cross on it, a hot cross bun, <laughs> hot cross bun. Okay, yeah, hot cross bun. Um, that's what they're giving me, hot cross bun. Uh, so uh, I don't know. Maybe you're eating that. Maybe you're you've made that. Uh, maybe that's your person's thing, um, or maybe it's just your person's energy, hot and cross. I mean, that's the energy I'm getting from this. This person's quite full on, very intense. Okay. Um, 
Okay, uh, we'll leave it there because they're not giving me anything else other than that. Um, I hope there was something that resonated here for you, my beautiful Gemini. If there was, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and it lets me know that you resonated with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Okay, my beautiful Gemini, good luck with this situation and your decision. Love and light.